Hello YouTube, I'm back with this Tascam 414 MK2 restoration. Uh, if you haven't already done so, there is a part one where I disassembled this and showed all the steps involved in that. And when I bought this, the uh, seller mentioned that the channel one was not working on this unit. And I was looking at this earlier and I discovered why that the, uh, let me see if the lighting is better with that off. I discovered why the channel one was not working because it looks like at some point in its lifetime, an amateur try to repair Just using some alcohol to get that flux cleaned off so I can see what the heck what the heck they were trying to do. Okay, now that I got my had my goggles on and got this cleaned up real good, if you can see it appears that wherever this point attaches got over tightened or dropped or something and you have cracks in the board so that would explain why they had all those jumper wires all over the place because you've got a definite break there uh, so from that component along that trace to there that's broken um, it appears that maybe there to there is broken there to there is broken and they didn't have a jumper there so that point and that point so that's what all those jumpers were for um, these brakes, I think, probably don't affect much because this is such a large area. Um, it looks like it's still got contact where it would, it looks like it would still have contact. There's a break here that I'm not sure that that did not have a jumper so from this point going along that contact trace that's going all the way up to that point so if you go back so from there around here around here around here around here around here up to there so that that did not have a jumper. Um, this one had a jumper to that one. Let's see if I can get any closer. Um, yeah, it looks like there's a, a break there. So that jumper was correct, but they missed this, this 
contract. This this trace, they missed that one. Uh, let's see. So that would explain all these these jumpers. Um, here is this area going down to here. So that might have been why they had a jumper. But I'm not sure that that's necessary because all of this goes around to here so that would still have contact with the this looks like this is probably the ground grounding area so that would have had contact but they they had a jumper on that i don't think that was necessary But what I can see is they missed, the main one they missed was this one that, that goes all the way up to that component there. So, I'm going to have to redo some jumpers. And since I have this desoldered, I may, may uh, go ahead and pull that and see if that jack's even good. Okay, well, thanks for watching, and this is uh, kind of the joys of looking at things, and it's nice to be able to zoom in this close on the camera, because now I'll have the, the video to kind of review and make sure I'm not missing anything before I get this put back up. There's definite breaks in that. You can really see it when you get the, the lighting highlight there. Um, when you when you get that light going across there. And that really helped to get all that flux. There was tons of flux in here from the re-soldering. And uh, I think probably the one that that was causing this channel not to work was that trace going from there all the way up to that component there because there is a definite break in that in that trace right there uh, let me see if i can get closer you can see you can see all of those, that's cracked, that's cracked, and then that, that contact is broken there, uh, possibly that one's broken, um, this is actually broken, so that may need a jumper across there to get all of this uh, this um, contact going to here and then on because that is definitely broken. I don't know if that's necessary because here is another here's another grounding point so all of that sh that should be good that is broken there which I think that's just another part of the the grounding but here's another component that was missed or another trace that was missed because that's that's broken there so that point to that point so 
I've got that point to that point to that point. We'll need a jumper. That point to that point will need a jumper. And I've done that, that point all the way going up to that point we'll need a jumper. And then uh, I think that'll be good because it should be grounded here. That one will need a jumper to there. And that should cover it all. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this jack just because I want to get these cleaned up good. And uh, I wanna get all of these points clean, get all that old solder off. And I'm gonna put a plug in this and see if I'm getting getting contacts. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's tip. Ring. That probably, when you unplug it, these probably engage. Yep. Yeah, that jack looks like it's still good. So I'm gonna get these cleaned up and just get that soldered back in. You can see on this other side of the board here where uh, the board's cracked here also. So all of those connecting points are going to this, this first um, fader. So that's, uh, it looks like that's the mic line trim fader. And then uh, that could be what's affecting that channel. So I'm gonna get this jack soldered back in and then I'll worry about doing all the jumpers. That looks much better. I'm gonna reflow, reflow the solder on those two middle points there before I forget. And there's not a broken joint there, so I'm gonna go ahead and reflow that end one. And then when I do the jumper, I'll get that one.
make sure I didn't get those flowed together. I think that might have been part of the problem with the uh, other attempted repair with all of those were just flowed together. I'm gonna make me some jumpers out of a couple of resistors that I'm not gonna use. So. All right, I got all the traces and jumpers soldered, so now I'm just gonna do some uh, uh, testing to make sure the stuff that's supposed to be linked is linked and the stuff that's not supposed to be linked is not linked. Okay, I think everything checks out now. Once again, if you like my videos, please give it a thumb up and uh, hit that bell for future notifications so when I continue this project, you'll get notified of the latest video that I've posted. And I do live streams pretty often too, so you get notified of those. And this may not be the, uh, the optimal uh, cosmetically but electronically I think everything is hooked up the way it's supposed to be hooked up now um, if you saw the beginning of this video there was a few of those uh, tracings that were broken that were not making contact and now they are Let me get this a little closer here As you can see, there's there's a definite break now um, here, whereas there wasn't before. And I did check all those. That doesn't contact that. That doesn't contact that. But these contact. Um, I got a jumper wire going over to here. I got these jumpered off. Where those. There was a break there, there was a break there, and there was a break under there. So now all these are contacting. Um, this solder is broken there, so I jumpered it from here. This is the trace, goes up, goes over, over here, over there all the way up to there. So I jumpered from that point to that point. Um, this contact point here was broken, so I jumpered those. And I think that's about it. Got all this, uh, got all this other solder, um, uh, I re-soldered the jack, got better flow on those, and I think I checked everything from the starfish.
Um, I checked from this point to here to here. Um, these are just grounds, so it wouldn't, I don't think it really would affect it anyway. Because this is grounded over on this ground point. And um, this is making contact with that ground point. I think I got everything, but that was the culprit that was affecting that first channel. So hopefully I got all the jumpers jumped and the, the points all linked together now. And we'll see when I get this put back together. As always, thanks for watching and have a good night.